Rumbles and Whispers. It's ASMR Science. Here's a Newton's Cradle, named after 17th century scientist, Sir Isaac Newton. see something really interesting. I take two balls and I pull them up and I release them. Two balls shoot off. Let's look at that in slow motion. Possibly do four balls. Amazing. Let's look at that in slow motion. in this 
this scenario because the balls are very hard balls and the collision is elastic and so kinetic energy must be conserved. Let's do two balls. Is it possible that two balls will cause one ball to go up with twice the speed? That would conserve momentum. However, what about the energy considerations? Kinetic energy, kinetic energy is equal to half mass times velocity squared. The incoming kinetic energy equals half mass half times two times one squared equals one joule one joule of energy coming in when two balls are released if one ball takes off at twice speed then momentum is conserved but the energy would be two joules you can't go from one joule of energy to two joules of energy you can't go from one joule of kinetic energy to two joules of kinetic energy. That goes against the law of conservation of energy. What about when I release three balls? Is it possible? Is it possible that one ball takes off at three times the speed? That would obey the law of conservation of momentum. However, the original amount of energy of the three balls is one and a half joules. One ball taking off at three times the speed would be nine joules. Way too much energy. Way too much energy. So that is why you must always have the same number or less balls taking off. The question is, why can't, when I do one ball, why can't two balls take off at half speed? That would conserve momentum and the kinetic energy would be less. Let's think about it. One ball hitting at one centimeter per second has the energy of half a joule. Two balls taking off at half speed would only have energy of more point or a quarter of a joule which is less energy the energy would be converted into other forms such as heat and sound but because this is an elastic collision kinetic energy is conserved which is why you must have the same number of balls taking off each time release three three go up What a wonderful toy, the Newton's Cradle is superb. What type of interaction is happening here in the middle, I wonder. I actually think it's a little bit like a compression wave. The wave passes through as one pushes on the other. The masses do not move anywhere. There is no transfer of mass, there is only transfer of energy. That's exactly what waves do. They transfer energy and not matter. Well, thank you for joining me on this Newton's Cradle episode. I do hope that you've learned some physics and that you'll join me again in the future.